Yo, what's up guys, Hyrus here, and welcome back to more Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, um, this is gonna be um, the last time I'm gonna be doing this right now. I mean, I want, there's so many other, there's so many other games I wanna play, so, um, um, after, um, after I, um, like, um, like, um, after this is, like, okay, this is kinda hard to explain. Um, um, because, um, I got the, um, Ioni to, app to work, but, um, I don't feel like doing Ioni today, so, um, the re so, um, don't worry, I'm still gonna do more, um, Doki Doki Literature Clubs, just that, um, it's just that, um, I mean, hey, there's so much, there's so many other games I haven't put, I have to play, and, hey, you know me, being a YouTuber, it's kinda tough, so, anyways. <coughs> Aw, man, I'm the last one here again! Don't worry, I just walked into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. <laughs> starting this starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I, got, I guess passion. Ah. Uh, remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. <clears throat> ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica! Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific, specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't- I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, of all people? Because! It's right in your name! mon i ka mon i ka Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in the translation. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions are as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me? Where is Sayori, anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, ah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk so to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sari shows, shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Um, alright. If you say so. I wordly... <coughs> I wordly glance at Sayori before tur turning back towards everyone else. But the, con but the conversation has already dis dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she knows anything about Sayori recently. She's... Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have spending a lot of time together. I timid timidly approached Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Hyrus, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed have you noticed anything up with Sarah re recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, okay. I can't say I notice anything about her. Maka peers across the room at Sayori, who is ideally dragging a rubber racer and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Hyrus. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always, she, she's always talked to me, but things that bothered her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. 
Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just want to ask you if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of the club members you do, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Hyrus. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Say, Sayori talks about you more than anyone else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her, inside of her. What? No way. Sayori's always like that. She's she's always been full of sunshine. It's not like any different now that it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Hyrus. I know. Have you thought that maybe you always seen her as so cheerful? Because that because that's oh god. Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Around you? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to come to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so don't try to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles mean meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but... I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down to next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't even hear it from her. I sigh and sit to myself. And I, I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly, exactly, how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides for, what, for Monica. Okay everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the classroom. <clears throat> Why don't we share our poems now? Before I knew it, everything, everything is back to normal. Every, everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with Yuri first. Well done, Hyrus. You've definitely improved your writing o over the course of these few days. Has, has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah. Definitely. I'm glad. <laughs> ah, sinuses. Why? Why do you act up right at this time of crisis? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone's enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. Wait a minute. So am I? So wait. I'm the only one in the club, so there's only girls. Wow. Actually, that, that could be a dream come true one day. Me, if I actually, um, if I was in, if I, um, had a friend that was a girl and she invited to me in one of her par clubs and, um, there was a bunch of girls, I would totally take that. I mean, I mean, come on. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. I guess I, and I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Iris? Eh? Well, you know how I say that writing is a per very personal way to get in touch with yourself. And then it doesn't matter if you're, you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what most important is exploring and discovering yourself. 
as comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always well, you're always specificated with your writing and sophisticated, okay, and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good moment. Minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me, Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I've always overthink and come close to those sort of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked, Yuri. What am I saying? I'm sorry I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. <coughs> Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel of millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface under a clean blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless ignim ignim enigma. Enigma. Okay, there we go. The easiest way to get last in is one where everyone can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sa sand is wet, the tides comes. Will it gently click at your foundations until you give in? On will a sudden wave send you crashing down at, in the blink of an eye? Okay, um. Okay. Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still blind sandcastles, I understand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is thera therapeutic? I, I can't read that because it's in bad cursive. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my piece to in ode at the shore, drift forward, and I shall forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an insane thing to write about, but I did my best to make a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wants us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to get better, I suppose to be compared the differences in our writing styles, our thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wants to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have any particular interest in her writing style. I'm just, I just went with her request. But, well. I suppose it's not bad to write about something simple on Caucasian. Caucasian. Occasions. Occasions, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to say Caucasians. Okay, it can't be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Let's go with the Sayori. This is the. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Hyrus. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Sir, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh, eh. Uh, of course. Everything's fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's not... S no, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Hyrus, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does, or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait! Of course I do! But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Yuri. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength or something. And this, 
and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life, so sometimes it's just easier to write while I'm thinking about you. Sayori? No. Hyrus. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori ha Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori. I glance around the room to make sure nobody had noticed this. Sayori. I promise. I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Hyrus. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. Ha ha ha. I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sari! Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sari cheerfully walks out of the door class, cla of the classroom, humming to herself. Okay, um... Okay, I got a minor setback, so, um... Basically, um... I'm being too nice to Ma to um Sayori and she's just um like um apparently makes her upset for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. But wait, when she said um if I was um nice to her to everyone else, if I was talking to everyone else instead of more well not hold on. If I was talking to everyone else more than her, then she said it will make it much easier. Unless She's not gonna kill. She's not gonna kill herself, is she? Now that's now that's why I want to know. Why? Why? Just why? Maybe it's because um, she had some. Maybe she's disturbed or something. I don't know. But anyways, I don't know for sure. So let's keep going. Hi, Hyrus. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, beside this club and one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I have to get some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I meant it's funny how your poems and series poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. Just like, um, Natsuki and Yuri's. Ah! I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Ah, I guess you could say that. Although, we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me about how Sarah's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Ah. Well, Harris, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright, just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. What are you saying? Wait, what are you saying? Now, you're definitely breaking the fourth wall. What are you saying? It would be terrible if something bad happened. It would, it would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. She really is gonna kill herself, isn't she? Oh my god. Oh my god. If she does, I'm legit gonna cry. Even though, um, even though I haven't cried in a while, I'm gonna legit cry if she does, because she's so nice! Come on! So keep an eye on her. Sarah's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have poss what could have wait what could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time about talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you, alright? Air, alright. The lady who knows everything. An old lady tells tell tales of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought, and here I am, a feather. Oh, there's more, okay. 
lost adrift the sky victim of the current of the wind. Day after day, I sur- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't even look at Sari's poem, did I? No, I did not. Oh my god, I didn't even look at her own poem. Aw, oh, man. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. Let's keep going. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky, until one day this wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a triquil, expressionless. But I... But a hand catches me between thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no no end to her gaze. The lady no the lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she re responds in a hollow voice. I have found an every answer, all the all of which amount to nothing. There's no meaning. There's no purpose. We seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of things that give life meaning. Not to be so philosophical or anything, but it was kind of, kind of on my mind, so that's why I wrote about this. Really? What are you calling right now? Come on. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. But we had all the answers when, when the world start to lose its meaning. You know, there's one thing I no the thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more happy than or sad than happy. Aha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, everything was okay. We wouldn't really have anything to write about, wouldn't we? Humans are t aren't two-dimensional creatures. Yeah, we're three-dimensional. No, four-dimensional, actually. No, I don't know. Not anymore. I don't know anymore. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, like that. That explains a lot, because I am actually looking at you freaking one-dimensional right now. <laughs> because you're facing forward at me. Anyway, here's Monica's Ryan tip of the day. Are you sh are you ever sh Are you ever too shy to share Ryan because you're afraid it's not that good? It can't be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put much put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing them, sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is so good or okay or bad, they all want to focus more on everything that went into it and the th things you work on. It's much better encouraging than the. That, that way, it would make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Last one. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. It doesn't blow me away. But there's something... But there's nothing I really hate about it. It's just... It's not really my style, I mean, it's, that's fine. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of, of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, well I guess you've been be been friends with her for so long you might be on the same wavelength. But you're never really stuck me as your type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden. Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so, er, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you. It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Ugh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way, if it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we c we take care of each other, uh, other in our own way. Whatever, whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years, but today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. 
a shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your words away. I'll be the beach that, that you daydream about every night, every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought have had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams, and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me be and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you, you free in my windy sail and remember the reasons you're wonderful. When you impress your lips to mine, I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that that you'll daydream every day about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left left you long ago, but if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah, I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice mes message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kinda hard to write about any negatives about the beach. Well, Yuri's takes, well, Yuri's takes on what's like more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she's better not have said anything about that about mine. After all, she was the one who wants us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can't really see her doing that too. Making us write about a topic that tried to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just didn't anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too, but there's no nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out- Hold on a sec! Is it just me or did you say- or did you just say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You debated from your usual ca catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I didn't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri's isn't immune to it. Mm. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah! It seems you're right. <sighs> Sirius always helps, always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone, everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went to pee. Natsuki, please, please show some decency. Oh come on! Um, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick up the time she's not feeling well. So much for you, you've two been all lovey-dovey. Ah, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendships- Okay, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sari. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Ooh. That curious expression coming from your of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival creation, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know, I already know what I'm doing. That's right. That's key. We'll be making, the, making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can. Uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. N no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. N n now, not to keep pouting too. Jeez, can. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sari enough credit because I can tell things are 
even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But I can't also be a leader on my own that I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you could, so you should make some banners and decorations to help me set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes, and she stares at her desk and bookings and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be, you'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Iris. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me as out as well. I would be really appreciative on that. Ah, that's... It's Monica suggesting, suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't, wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you give to you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice and you should be sitting on your butt anyways. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the bacon on your own. Harris may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Hyrus too. What? What are you saying? It would be extremely metallicous work. And bacon isn't. Just what do you think, guys? Guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Hyrus to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gone to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said, I'm I'm surprised as well. S sorry, sorry. I was just thinking though. Jeez, can we just sell this already? Yeah. Harris, you're really okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with. I mean, if this is going to be anyone that I'm preferring. I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we already are neighbors, Anne. But Monica said, Monica said Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you, do you really hate us that much? N no! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club to, okay? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I kinda wanna choose I, I want to choose, um, I kind of want to choose, um, either Yuri or Natsuki, not Monica, because I don't trust her, right? So I'm going to go with Natsuki. Well, bacon sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made me sound like a lot of work, so it would, probably could use two people. Don't worry, bacon's a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute, you were saying that, that that's because, never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. Now I feel bad! Yeah, I, I feel bad. That's good. Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's a little hard to feel... not to feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think it, that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. Wait, what about you, Hyrus? Me? Get away, Ad. Go away, Ad. I guess you could say I'm interested in to see how it'll turn out. That's it, good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Natsuki starts pounding too. It's not... I mean... Oh my god, now I feel bad. But if I... Oh my god. <coughs> I don't know what to choose. I could either choose um, Natsuki or, or Yuri, but I cannot choose her because... 
Something in her eyes tells me um, I can't trust her. I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, might not just be that. just that. I think that Yuri might just feel un underappreciated in general. Having to come with something to, for her to hand to do and then nobody offering to help, that doesn't mean... Uh, Natsuki, Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and pats herself on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you're, you really are the most talented one here, and you're going to make, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That, that'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So, you'll need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. That's key re releases her hands and towards, turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, didn't you? Um, n not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Maka and I also, Maka and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying much, such encouraging things, but I began to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say all the time. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and even and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'll do. I'm going to do my best, and all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a little bit longer. I really got to do any ringing today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I started to follow Maka Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out the plans for this weekend. You literally would have forgot gotten... Homie realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over for Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming over to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured out that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, you're right. Like I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That kind of that's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. Anyways, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much, so you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you- didn't you- didn't you- didn't you say you were just gonna give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that it's not like I could act like in front of everyone. That I would look forward to this. What? Wait, really? Well. Kind of. Just because I never got to bake with anyone else before, that's all it is. So, all right, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be I'll be hanging out now. See you on Sunday. Ah, never mind. I can't believe this. That's key's going to be covering over to my house Sunday, even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety sh still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling at her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like the way we feel about each other anyway, but but like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, I'll have a good time. 
It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki coming up to visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other over. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned out into a conversation. She almost had a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes to complain about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But Natsuki aside, I haven't heard anything from a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text text each other after all all the time or anything. But I'm worried about her in my in the back of my mind. But between what Sayori and Monica has said, is it really okay for me to put a series a series? feelings aside when she might need me. I decided to visit. I decided to visit Sarah before Natsuki come Natsuki come out. Oh my god. I am nervous and I can't even talk straight. Not before Natsuki Natsuki before Natsuki. Okay. Rather than asking, I simply told tell her I'm coming over, much like we're done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her... What? Oh, hmm. I didn't get to read the text. I have to her bedroom when I finally find her. Oh, thank God! Sayori? Hi, Iris. I sit down I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori really isn't is a messy is is as messy as it's been all always been. I also recognize the stuffed animals and wall de decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over so often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come? How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Are you supposed to be seeing Natsuki today? But wait, how did you know about that? Sarah had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me it's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations line. Yeah, that's true. But what about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We don't have a plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Siri was... Siri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't just hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sari smi smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Hyrus. Eh? Why can't it just be like like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make this stupid that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me all the time. You wouldn't have come here. You would have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's what the world decided to have you come over today. It's just what tortures me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab so I grab Sayori by the shoulder. What on earth are you What on earth are you saying? Are you even are you listening to yourself right now? I know something's happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sari gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Hyrus. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sari? <laughs> you're really just going to make me sane, aren't you, Hyrus? I guess I have no choice this time. The whole thing is... I had... It I had really, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did did you know that? Why do you think I've been I've 
Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I'm fully know I'm worthless I am? Wait, why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care into waste by having them spend it on me? That's why it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm, sh I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to, how to respond. How is it possible that Sari kept this from me the entire time that, I kn that I've known her? It doesn't really want... Did she really want want so badly for me to to just not to think about her? Why, Sari? Why is that that you never told me about this? It almost feels like that I've been... It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even there's only... Even if there's only one thing, even even if there's only so much thing. In, oh my God! I can't even talk. Even if there's so much, if, even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do is, all you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Hyrus. Why do you think I t I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then. You will have to waste ever for caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bare sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ahaha, <laughs> that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club it feels like a spirit going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but her. <laughs> You're right. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand you. I don't. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sari. But I don't. But I don't need to understand. Whatever. It, whatever. It, whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's all. That's why. That's what I'll do. No, Hyrus. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing you could do, you could have helped, is everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. What the heck is going on? Come on. Tears streak down Sarah's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way I, that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I've made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every, deserve every last one. Without thinking, I grab Sayori again by the soldiers. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Yes! Ah, Harris. Sayori, I don't care if, you're feel, if you feel selfish. I'm just happy you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worth enough. But I make friends with everyone else. That's just a bonus but please never underestimate how much I care about you I wouldn't have done it on either way Hyrus Sarah isn't hugging me back despite my arms being wrapped around her Sarah's arms remain her size she started sobbing next to my tear no don't do this to me please don't do this Hyrus I I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away, and if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, sorry. Why am I always getting freaking ads? Gently, Sarah feel finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand all of my feelings, Iris. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sarah lets me go. As she does, so I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. 
It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend it all for you? Uh, um, ah. It's what I want, I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah wipes her eyes. She's still sad. I mean, come on. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I am, where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, I won't. Won't. I. Won't, I really won't forgive you. But it's almost time for Nancy to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sari shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Surrey and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about when about when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori's right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent a few minutes back home at anxiously waiting for Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door to let her in. Seth? Hey! I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in different other than her scroll uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in a such cute clothes makes the uniform totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it awkward or so, so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so to be don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. That's the key is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that the, your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she always does. Could it be that she's a little different out Side of school after all. Anyways, let's go to the kitchen. Wait, you're not even gonna offer to take this back from me? Where's your hospitality, Hyrus? Come on! Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag and ask he holds out to me. Gah! This is ridiculously heavy! <laughs> I carried the, that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. It's like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh. Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and have better and also better than other people, but, jeez, never mind, what are, you, what are you making me say? Don't you think you, you can talk, make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school? Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of things, there's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Ah, uh, what? That's a little bit much like you. You're more, you're more fun when you're just speaking your mind that like that. Hey, now you're treating me like a kid. I was trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just, and just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you could treat me like. Ah, uh, uh, that's a kid catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki, forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that you there are tons of guys who are into type body types like yours. Ah, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey, 
What's that to was that to me? Who else? Man. Let's just get started already. Ah <laughs> You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Hyrus. <laughs> Natsuki smiles deviously deviously. Please spare me. <laughs> well, if, well, if Natsuki decides to, Nats, Natsuki decides to def dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm fine. I'm not fine back. But, but she's satisfied enough for now. Finally, she starts to put things out of her, her bag, so we get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour spilled, fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixture isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Harris, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going to be in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making extra I'm making extra tray a different color. That way, if the flavors aren't different, everyone up everyone can tell see still pick their favorite. Oh, that's a cute idea. Are you serious? Come on! Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Ah, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on, you're not putting any heart into this at all. Oh, you... Uh... Okay, as I was saying, um, oh crap, I accidentally clicked on it. Sorry, my mom just got home, man. I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get me get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter in small, smaller bowls and put it a few drops of food color into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like bacon is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you just look at it. Makes everyone makes everyone's eyes lighten up, like the ones you make, ma like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her catchy cupcakes and Seru and Monica delighted expressions. I wonder if I could make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I'll use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you definitely finish mixing the icing before you, before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's get it's getting there. We were used using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got struck with the whisk and a and a huge bowl for a, full of icing. Eh? <coughs> the, the icing is still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It just takes a little longer. Jeez. I'll be here all night if you. If you do like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to, you really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? <laughs> As if to em em empath em emph Why can't I not say words right? Come on. As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it into her mouth. I, rec I reluctantly do start to do the same. Hey, Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want—I don't want your gross fingers to in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I started to fight back, trying to itch my finger towards the bowl. <laughs> don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder just enough to for my finger to reach icing. I triumphantly scoop some of with my finger just as Natsuki tucks me with all her might. Ah! The, the force of Natsuki caught pulling me causes me to stumble, making her st stumble in return. Gross! You got it on my face. 
Whose fault is that? There's a big glop of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mm -hmm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this! Natsuki... Natsuki, inst instead of wiping it off with her finger before shoving her finger... But before shoving her fingers towards my own face. You wish! I'm faster! I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You know that. To, you know you do that to me all the time. You know, saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth and licking off the icing. What? What? Did you seriously just? Uh uh. Natsuki's surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Iris, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she make? Is she asking me like just like that? How did the mood turn out this down so quickly? Natsuki uh, gazes a sme at me in silence. I notice her shallow breasts. 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 Am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is it is something burning? I thought you, you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left the tray in there, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki using, using an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the mud bef before she still lingers over our heads. By the moment, Ray has been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake tra trays in the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells good. It was so, so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki pulls the oven door, a blast a blast of sweet smelling warm fills the air. Look how cute they are. Talk! Look how cute they <laughs> look. She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look they'll look even better once we add the, the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought the de decorating stuff, so I hope you get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have, I have these nozzles that will make it so the icing looks fluffy. This one can make flowers. We, we probably won't be using that anytime soon, though. What's this one for? I picked the one of the nozzles that have much thinner tip than the others. That's one's, that one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on the cupcake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh, well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be more fun to see people choose their cupcakes based on the word they like. Uh, uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's a, actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What, what is that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not in school anymore. Nobody's judging. You, can, you can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. But, well... That's Key's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, nothing. Oh, okay, she does have a crush on me. So let's just do the icing. That's Key picks up the paste and fastens a nozzle on on each of the bags. There's a lot there's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. 
Without giving me a chance to think before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we we each get to work. When we were finally finishing well, when we were finally finished, Natsuki puts them up all by side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they look are are, are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh I wish I could have one just now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but yeah, but my dad's making dinner though tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Ah ha ha! Sorry, sorry, the ex opposite in that regard. If she was here, we would probably be down ten cupcakes already, and she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat much as of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for mango, but I need to have head home for dinner. Ah, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you've always had this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki blames places places the blame on me. You can bring the pup cupcakes tomorrow, all right? If you if you and Sari each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish you would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah. Yeah. I didn't think about the, to the conversation I had with Sari earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sari always wants, always does listen to me, but at the point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm pack all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll luck you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like afternoon went by in a flash. More than that? Did I even even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I... Okay, my pants are Okay. I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said about before about not always having this chance? It doesn't have to be in. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking could be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you came over and you can come over anytime soon. I think that that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you really want to read manga or go out somewhere, um, do you really really mean that? Natsuki. Looks at me intensely, intensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you, Harris. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I have to leave so early today. I really d didn't want to. I, w I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel like the same as the way as you. That's that's key. Suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Stand inches away from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutching at the side of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose red colored cheeks and matching eyes filled my vision along with her slight, slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to get dizzy and I feel her soft breath against breath and I felt her soft breath breath against me. I've felt it for a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Is that Sari? Eh? Ah. Hi, Harris. Sari. Just now we weren't. Eh heh heh. It's okay, Harris. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, uh. Well. You shouldn't have come a little earlier. I'm only already on my way out, so. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well. I'm still see. I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sari waves goodbye. Sari, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, <laughs> well, I tried to stay in my room, but my imagination was really was really mean to me. So I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much you were having fun, how much you were having fun with Natsuki? And how close you got to her? It makes me really happy. That you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. 
Here starts to fall down Sari's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Hyrus? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does this make... Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sari, don't say that. It's true, Hyrus. If I wasn't here, then, then you wouldn't have wasted your s sympathy on me. You would have put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this is some, isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something like... It's something that makes me happy. It's just something that I want, wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, Sari looks away. I put my hands on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Hyrus. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sari? I'm scared that, that, I'm, that I might like you more than you like me. Sari? It's true, isn't it? I was leaking and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Hyrus. I like you so much that I want to die. That how I feel. That's how I feel. And and that's enough, Sari. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slid my hand down to Sari's arm, squeezing her hand in my own. Do you remember how I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordless, wordlessly, Sari nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's why I'm gonna give it to you. Sayori, you always be my dearest friend, or the, um, the I love you thing. Okay, um, hmm. Now, this is going to be a decision to pick, so, hmm. Um, hmm. Hold on, let me check something real quick. <clears throat> okay, hmm. Well, I do like her, so... I do like her. I mean, she's nice. I'm just gonna say it and just say it. I love you. I, I love you. Eh. Those are my true feelings. So, there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I know I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with with everyone at that club, make, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept you. I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Harris. Wait, that's why my hair- Wait. Wait, I do have brown hair. Wait, no, 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 that- Okay, um. That could actually be me. Maybe this is actually me. I mean, hey, I do- Hey, I kinda do look, look a lot, and like that, and- Heck, I'm pretty much tall, so why not? Suddenly, Sari wraps her. Suddenly, Sari wraps her arms around, er, tightly around me. Iris, is this really okay? Yeah, I hold Sari in my arms and pull her closer. You never have to let go of me again. I love you, Iris. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel. S I feel Sari's grip around me weakening a little bit. What is this? Sari, I'm supposed to be happy right now. I, I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me, but why? Even now, why won't this the rain cloud go away? They're, they're not going away at all, Hyrus. It's okay, Sari. It might take some time for things to get better again, but no matter what, how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay, I trust you. Now you sound like you don't. So, suddenly, and I release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first day, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always been. If we, we, if we, we are really, if we, even if we are really a, a couple, I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go. We'll ever. We'll go. Go at whatever space pace suits you the best. Hey, Iris. Sari. Sari gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. 
Even like if I get really, really sad. This is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't understand what Siri means by that. Are you saying this to make you feel sad, Siri? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns would you when you told me you love me. But that's why I would want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. <clears throat> okay. On, um. Oh, crap. I see that, but in reality, I never felt more con uh, constrained. Uncertain when it comes to Siri, okay. <clears throat> um, I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding her feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague until things are back to the way they were. So that's what she meant by not wanting anything to change. I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I got. She's the most important person to me. And I don't... And I'll do whatever it takes to make a happy future with her. Okay! I think I'm gonna keep going real quick. The day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this would be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering my answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event are nearly complete. I manage to carry all the cupcakes here by myself, carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up the storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hand being full. Funnily enough, I feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend some time with Sari and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Okay. So, I'm going to have to end this episode for right now. So, thank you so much for watching this. It's been like an hour and a few minutes already. God dang. Didn't even notice. So yeah, um, um, well, we finally confessed the feelings, and now, I, still, this is kind of too much for me, so, um, yeah. Why is the music, oh. So I'm just gonna save right here, so, um, so yeah, um, yeah, I'm getting this right here, so, so, yeah. Yes. <laughs>